Hey YouTubers, I've got another Royobi tool review to share with you and I'm coming to you today from the kitchen because it's just too darn cold in the garage and going outside today is out of the question. So uh, last year around the holidays uh, I saw that they had a Royobi hot glue gun. It was actually marked down on sale um, at Home Depot and I thought about it and I almost bought it and I said nah I don't need that. Well, I went back looking for it a little while later and discovered they don't normally stock this. At least my Home Depot, they only stock these during the holidays. And so you can pick them up right before Christmas, and they'll even mark them down after Christmas. But then that's it. You can't get them the rest of the year. Now, I'm sure I could have gone online and ordered it, uh, or maybe even gone to another store, but I just didn't bother. So this year, when I'm walking the aisles at Home Depot and I see that these are back in stock, I grab one. And let me tell you, this thing has far exceeded my expectations. And with the new glue sticks that are being made nowadays, um, it may make you reconsider just what you can do with a hot melt glue gun. Now, my experience with a glue gun previously was one of these old guys. I bet this thing's 15 years old. And, you know, you got to plug it in and you got to wait for it to get hot. And it oozes glue nonstop. It never really stops oozing out glue and uh, these were the glue sticks it used the big fat ones and it's great for temporarily attaching things but it's such a nuisance to plug it in and you have to work near where it's plugged in and I, this thing just ended up in our junk drawer and probably gets used once every five years or so uh, so the idea of a cordless one that you can take anywhere really appealed to me now this does use a smaller diameter glue stick. Now when you buy this it comes with three of these big long glue sticks but my Home Depot at least does not stock glue sticks ever even when they're selling these things. So quick trip to Walmart and I discovered some Gorilla brand glue sticks and let me tell you these things really do a better job than these generic ones that come with it. So I highly recommend if you buy one of these get the Gorilla brand glue sticks. So this year, not too long after I bought this, uh, I volunteered to help decorate a Christmas float. And the day we were supposed to have the Christmas float kept getting postponed because of weather. And eventually we ended up, all of us had to bring our vehicles and trailers and line up three hours before the parade began. And so what we did was we brought the trailer in mostly empty. Everybody brought the lights and the garland and all the other things we we're going to put on the trailer and all the decorations and we put that float together in the three hours we had to wait in line before the parade started and this thing was a lifesaver. Um, I could not believe how well it worked, um, how well the glue holds. We had to tear some of the decorations off the trailer at the end and uh, it took paint off the trailer. So this the hot melt glue has come a long way as far as how well it sticks. And we decorated the entire trailer on one of the little two amp batteries. Uh, I brought several batteries not knowing how long this thing would, would stay hot on a single battery, but it, it really does a great job. And so uh, I've got a couple little, little test samples we'll glue together. And uh, I also want to time this thing. Now it was in my garage and I brought it into the house and it's almost room temperature. It's still a little cool to the touch. But uh, let's power this thing on and see how long it takes to heat up. Okay, it's been about two minutes and I can see it's getting hot here. Looks like it might be ready to dribble a little bit of glue. And you can see that Royobi has designed in this little shelf here with a non-stick surface. So if glue does dribble out it lands here and you can just pop it off of there when it cools. Now, hot melt glue is not the strongest thing in the world. It's perfect for crafting and it's good for holding things together that you might also bond with an epoxy or some other type of more permanent solution. Um, it's really great if you're, you're working on something just to, to coat a permanent type glue on the, the subject, put a dot or two of the hot melt glue just to hold things in place if you don't have clamps or it's awkward to clamp or what have you. Um, you'll see there's a light here and here to indicate the, the gun is turned on. 
when you remove it from the base, it's no longer receiving electricity, so the light goes out, and it will cool if you keep it away from the base for too long. So from time to time, just return it to the base and let it heat back up again. Like I said, I'm definitely going to uh, donate the old hot melt glue gun we had to some charity or other. Uh, I'll never be using it again. This is, uh, this is so much more convenient. Uh, it doesn't ooze glue like the other one did. Uh, the new glues seem to work a lot better. And uh, I can see myself actually using this one, whereas the old corded one I had just spent 99% of its life in a junk drawer. So uh, I'm going to glue together a couple little paint stir sticks here. And you can see how well it distributes the glue. We're going to put those together. I'm going to turn the gun off. We're going to let this cool a little bit and I'll come back and see how hard it is to separate these. I suspect the glue is going to be stronger than the wood is. Okay, it's been a few minutes. This is still slightly warm to the touch, but it's mostly cooled down. So let's see how strong that bond is. I'm going to try and pull these apart. Okay. <laughs> I cannot pull those apart. Ugh. That's actually a lot stronger than I thought it was going to be. I'm going to try to twist it this way and see if I can break them apart that way. Nope, I <laughs> can't do it. I can feel it give a little bit, but it will not break. All right, I'm going to try to bend it this way now. I'm pretty sure the wood is going to break before the glue does. Yeah. Um, so, as I suspected, the bond is much stronger than the wood is. Um, like I say, these, this thing does a great job and the Gorilla Glue Hot Melt Glue is much better than the stuff I've used in the past. Um, you know, for 20 bucks, I've got a tool now that I think is going to come in really handy and will get used versus the old glue gun I had, which just stayed in the drawer, was never used. Uh, for 20 bucks, I think this is a great bargain. Uh, if your Home Depot stocks them, go buy one. Um, if they don't, and they're out of stock because the holidays are over, I think it's worth going online and ordering one. It's a really useful tool that, like most of the other Roby tools I've used so far, it has exceeded my expectations. I hope you found this helpful. Please like and subscribe if you did.